Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our test rigor series as well. I hope you guys are enjoying this tool. This is amazingly great. Just need to write plain English test cases and then uh, no need to write any code, nothing. And then it will start running your test cases on your favorite browser. Couple of things uh, today we are going to talk about. We are going to talk about first uh, a scrolling feature. So far what we have seen, we have seen how exactly we can automate the uh, browsers, we can automate the APIs, we can automate the uh, mobile automations also, we have seen that. So this time we are going to show uh, one scrolling feature as well. So you can go to their documentation. You can directly the, go to the documentation from the resources and the documentation. And then this is the very simple documentation with various examples are given here. So for scrolling, this is what they have done that you can do, uh, you know, a minor scrolling also. You can scroll down on right panel partially scroll down let's see half of the screen that also you can do that full screen also you can do that so if you write okay let's see one by two it means just half of the screen you just need to scroll down and that's it then scroll down until page contains submit view in selenium uh, what we have with the help of javascript executor scroll into view exactly same thing that is also having and then scroll down until contains link exactly contact us that also we can do that so this is something like really a good feature, only one line of a statement that you need to write. And then you can solve many uh, simple and the complex problems as well. So I'll give you a couple of, uh, let's see, two scenarios we are going to talk about today. I'll, let's go to this application, open card application. And what you need to do here is that this is a first present view when you launch this application. And what you do here, you just need to scroll down. And then here you need to check that, uh, Let's see, you need to check that this iPhone, the price is $123. Can you see this one? Or let's see Apple Cinema 110 or Canon 98 or something like that. So how will you validate this thing? Because first time when you come here and test trigger is not able to see. So you have to slightly scroll down, make it visible and then check that. Is it really visible or not? This is exactly same way the user, actual user also will perform the same thing. We have to scroll it down and then check that a specific iPhone price and Apple cinema price is correct or not. Right. So this is a scenario. So I'll do one thing. Let's uh, quickly create one uh, suite over here. So let's see, I'm writing this is a uh, scroll uh, test suite, something like this. I'm going to create that and um, I'll do one thing. Scroll set with one I'm going to use and this is application URL. Let's take this one. Okay, and uh, I'm running on operating system, let's see on Windows, Chrome and uh, zero test cases, discovery test cases I want to write. So just select zero. And then after that, I'm going to write some tests over here. So I'm going to write, let's see, this is my open card uh, scroll test, something like this. This is what I have written. Now, what exactly I'm going to do, see this carefully. Here, I really want to check that iPhone price 123.20. So here I can write a simple thing that check that let me yeah, see this check that page contains contains what contains some string. Let's see what is string. Let's see this pricing information 123.20 dollar. So contains this right below below where below iPhone. Right. You can see below, below iPhone, uh, below iPhone. Let's see. Let's try that. Is it really working or not? So if you run this, let's see, add and run. So according to me, it should fail. Let's see. So it's in the queue and uh, the test has got started here. You can see it's in the queue and then in a few seconds, it will give you the results. So here you can see, yeah, uh, it's getting started. The first screen actually launched here. You can see that it's opening the, my application, but the pricing is not visible over here. See this pricing because of this scroll and then it's going to wait. And then after a few seconds, it will be failed here. So this is not going to work guys. Why? Because, uh, obviously the pricing information is not visible right now. So what is the missing part here? The missing part here is that the scrolling part is missing. So let's wait until it's getting failed because after a few seconds, it will be failed because it's having some weight over here. So see, you can see that show error information. It's saying page does not contain this, but supposed to be. 
right so we have to update the test so only thing is that we have to write so let's click on see how will you update click on edit test case it will open a new tab once again and uh, here you can just before executing this line what you just need to do above that need to write scroll down exactly same thing that you can just use it see this exactly same thing okay no need to write i'm just going to copy paste here scroll page down or scroll down until page contains link exactly contact us do we have any contact us see we have this see this contact us which is available here so whatever we want we are asking test trigger please scroll down until you see exactly link contact us by the time this 123 is also visible and then you check it's available or not under iphone perfect let's see so okay so let's see let me remove the spaces and then retest once again when you click on retest the test will trigger once again over here you can see it's getting triggered here now it's in the queue and let's see is it really working or not this time ideally this should work because we are uh, exactly checking yes see absolutely working and then all the green color nice see and it's displaying the exact pricing also here under that so we are saying under iphone 123.20 is available and above contact us i mean just scroll up to contact us it's available here perfect so this is absolutely working fine here now let's see if you really want to add some other uh information for example let's see for apple cinema canon and all such things how exactly you are going to do that see i'll tell you one more trick here the trick about is uh so let's write let's write all the pricing information for so we have four products one two three okay three and four four products we have i'll just copy paste those products so let's see we have macbook 602 is the price so let's quickly write it here under macbook 602.00 602.00 and then the next product that we have apple cinema 30 inches now see this carefully this product name the product name is this so this is not going to work because of this double code because this is 30 inches double code here and this is the end of the string so test trigger will think okay the string is getting ended till here only it will just try to consider only apple cinema 30 so in order to do that what should i do in order to escape this double code to solve this problem you just put one backslash here and that's it and whatever the apple cinema pricing that we just need to update that is 110 110 dollars so i'll simply write 110.10 and the final product that we having is that is canon camera this is 80 dollars right or uh, sorry 98 dollars so let's go there and uh, this is 98 dollars perfect so this is what we have written so remember this one if you are having a string having a double quote already you have to escape that character just like we do in other programming languages in java also we do that so now let's try to run it once again is it really working or not so let's retest again and let's see okay so it will be running here and then we can quickly check that so it's so easy that within four lines of code and it will never break that's it no need to write any complex script nothing simple plain english a sentence and then every sentence is behaving like a step and the assertion for me and then it's absolutely working fine here you can see the screenshots are coming and the test is still in progress it's checking maybe other uh, pricing information i hope we have given all the pricing information correctly uh, maybe I hope there is no type of mistake that we have done. Ninety-eight dollars one one zero six zero two one twenty-three point two zero six zero two one. Okay, let's see. This is still running. Maybe something we have uh, screwed up. Yes, I think there is some error. So here. Okay, so let's see the error. It's saying one one ten dot zero. Okay, so one one ten dot one zero this is not working and it's actually zero zero and then we have written actually 10 over there so let me update to zero back to zero okay let me cross check because the moment any data is missing obviously the test will be failed and then we have 98.0 it's not 98 only 98.0 okay let's retest it good that okay we did a type of mistake 
so that we got to know that test trigger is able to find these issues or not that's good okay let's run it again the test is started once again it's in the queue and uh, so that's good okay the scripting part they have given in a separate uh, window or separate tab the moment you update and retest immediately it will start it over here just like we do it in cypress and this time you see that absolutely working fine the entire test got passed and you click on more details and the, see the screenshot absolutely working fine see so it's a nice screenshot is coming that below macbook this is a price and the pricing is coming in the green color over here like that that's nice okay so i'm giving you um uh, yeah like this you can just do that so i'm giving you one more assignment for example as you really need to check that this external text price can you see that this x text price which is available over here make sure that okay you have to validate that below macbook below iphone below apple cinema all these guys are having external text or not this is what you just need to validate right that's this particular label is there or not for all the products just try that as a assignment you can take it as a homework perfect so this is how we can just do the scrolling scrolling is important then only up to contact us then only we have to validate that now let's do one thing let's write one more test here so i'll do one thing i'm going to write uh, let's pick a better complex test okay so let's go to the test suite oh okay so this is the test suite that we have already created i'm going to create a uh, one more test over here so let's click on add custom test case and the test that i'm going to show you on amazon and see this if you do the same thing in uh, selenium that will be very complex so what you have to do here is that this is amazon.com you have to launch and you have to click on all menu and uh, here you can see see all right so when i click on see all then you have to keep scrolling down see this and then you have to reach up to let's see the last and sign in or united states whatever it's written over here like this so i'll repeat the scenario let me refresh this particular page click on all menu and then click on see all after that more menus will be opened and then you have to keep scrolling down like this how will you do that right so this is again in test trigger which is like very very simple i'm going to write this is amazon menu scroll test okay so what we just need to do we will uh, okay let's do one thing we will launch that application we will create a separate test suite for that so let's see my test suite name is this one amazon scroll test suite and the url will be this amazon.com and uh, os you can pick windows chrome browser any browser you can pick no auto discovery test case click on create test suite add custom test case and uh, the description i'm going to write this is my amazon menu scroll test and what is the first step that you have to write the first step is that simple click on see this click on where click on all that's it so i'm writing click all that's it no need to write any x path or anything just simple write click all after that when you click all it will open that menu and then you click on see let me just refresh this page once again and uh, see this when you click all then you have to click on see all that's it you just need to write the element text then i'm writing click see all i hope a small or oh, a capital that also doesn't matter it will just take care of it so let's write let's see capital all here okay then i'm just need to write a uh, scroll or oh, let's see till here is actually working or not so simple click on add and run so we're just clicking on all and clicking on see all so the test got started and uh, here we can see in the queue the test execution got started here just wait for a few seconds and then uh, let's see it is really working or not and then we will try to add the scrolling part there okay so here you can see the test got started it's actually saying that i'm going to click all and uh, after that yes it's actually clicked on all and then it's clicking on see all or not let's see yes it is actually clicking and test case got passed within 24 seconds and if you really want to see the uh, locks you can see that 
I mean the screenshot you can see that see it's clicking on all perfect and then after that it's clicking on see all and it is highlighting also see this is see all somewhere over here see all as actually see after see all all the see all menu items are visible here but if you see the scroll here the scroll is still here we need to get the scroll completely down so in that case what should i do see this carefully what do you do you right click on it and go to inspect on the scroll part and let's see what kind of a scroll it is so i'm just going to inspect this guy for example let's see this one and here i can see this entire a uh, scrolling menu item this entire menu item is written with ul class equal to this okay so i can just pick this particular class and i just need to write one thing see according to the documentation what they say that is scroll down on right panel something like this so exactly same syntax you can write it here that uh, scroll down let me just click on edit test case and uh, here after this scroll down on those classes you have to write this is class number one and class number two that you have already picked from here from here because this ul is having the entire class this one and this one that's it you don't need to worry about any other thing test trigger will take care of it and let's test it this time it should scroll until the page completely down so let's see this time it's working or not okay so test in the queue once again and uh, it got started and uh, amazon application is you know slightly heavy and it's every time it's getting changed sometimes so okay let's see okay see it's clicking on all after that it's clicking on the menu you can see see all is visible over here you can check that see it's clicking on see all can you see see all this time perfect and uh, after that it's scroll down on this and the test case got passed and let's see the last screenshot see it's trying to scroll down and last screenshot should be the last item you can see united state and sign in and you can see the scroll position is actually completely down bottom of the page here up i mean bottom of this scroller exactly same thing you can see that you can cross check let me just close this and uh, just scroll down and see united states and sign in english is written same thing in our result also we are getting it here united state english and sign in perfect so this is absolutely working fine here like this so that also you can do that there are some other scrolling options that you can try by your own it's very simple scroll down means just slightly scroll down so you can just keep writing a scroll down multiple times it will just keep scrolling down okay slowly so that also we can do that scroll down by half of the screen that also you can just simple write it over here the partial scroll that also we can do that and then if you really want to go to the bottom of the page you can simple say that okay if any policy link or contact us is available the scroll down until page contains this that also we can do that right so with these scenarios we can handle all the lazy loading scenarios as well let's see especially your, your linkedin and twitter and any food delivery app like swiggy or uh, zomato we just keep scrolling down until the specific element is available or present on the page or not that also we can do that with the same plain english sentence we can replicate those things perfect i hope you liked it i hope you got it and uh, let me know in case of any issues with test trigger you can contact to test trigger sales i mean con contact to sales trigger team as well and uh, just put in the comment section if you're facing any issues with the test trigger or any other specific scenario you have in your application you're not able to automate that we will try to help you guys for sure that's all for this video guys i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you